Hospitals are places where the community goes to seek help, but during COVID-19, Sulander stepped up and gave back to those working tirelessly on the front lines, and their generosity didn't go unnoticed. In part five of our six-part series, Unity Point Health St. Luke's highlights some of their favorite moments of community support and how those acts of kindness help the frontline workers get through their toughest days. The community has helped in ways that we never imagined. We had people that were coming in and saying, you know, I have some masks, and they would bring in five masks or a dozen masks. So uh, all the homemade masks that were uh, made and created. Uh, so it was really a community effort rallying around the hospitals uh, to support us in our time of need. The community was, um, it overwhelmed us what they did with the handmade face masks. We received almost 10,000 masks from the entire community and it was um, a network that we didn't know was out there. One of the things that we did in the foundation is reach out to so many people in the community just to say, do you have masks? Do you have um, face shields? Do you have gloves? Do you have goggles? And we were amazed over $400,000 worth of um, personal protection equipment was just out there. When I got there, he had purchased these cookies. He had bought some face cream because if you recall the stories of how your face broke down from wearing a mask and face cream and tied them onto every box of individual cookies. And then he said, when I asked him, what prompted you to do this? He said, I got my $1,200 check and I don't really need it. So I spent it buying things to help the frontline workers at St. Luke's. That was phenomenal to me that somebody thought to do that um, and, and just unexpected. We continue to need more personal protection equipment, um, goggles, face masks, gloves, anything that you have in your business that you might be able to donate. If you're looking at doing something to show your gratitude during the holidays or as we lead up to them, think about those frontline healthcare workers. They're working 12 hours. They're in those warm outfits. Um, sometimes they don't get a break and they need that time to just stop and have a nice warm meal. Just gratitude, um, uh, extreme gratitude to our community. Uh, there's so many people at a time of crisis in a pandemic like this. The fact that the community would really, you know, focus on the hospitals and, and recognize we play a unique role uh, in, in several aspects of life in our community, but in a health pandemic, I mean, we're critical. Well, I think what the community said to us is what we've been saying to them. You matter to this world. They really supported us by saying you matter and did everything they could to help us. If you missed any of our stories this week, you can find them at the top of our website, sulanews.com. And tune in tomorrow for our final piece, where we explore how COVID-19 has changed the face of healthcare.